Are you a long torso? Or no, you're a short torso. Me? Yeah. Short. You? Am I short? Why? Oh, you're. Do I? You, no, you're average. Did you know that? Because your chair is lower than mine. Oh. But you're the same height as me right now. That's you want to swap? Okay. No, I don't want to swap. Mark this, mark Look, now you're going to be taller than me. Whoa. But in real life, that is you wild. are the same height as me? Yeah. Fuck. That is so we Okay, without the pillow? With the pillow. With the pillow? I think that's a bit high. Yeah. Okay, if pillow. your shoulder was lower, but you're as high as me. Is that weird? Wow. We really unlocked another category of torso length. Yeah, look. Welcome back to my channel where we help you go from having nothing to wear to always having something to wear and feeling more stylish. In today's episode, we're going to recap. Or actually, we're going to get an update on Cola's wardrobe audit. Do you remember a few months ago, we went through Cola's wardrobe when Cola was still living in Brisbane before she started her digital nomad life and we did a cull and we also started to identify Cola's personal style so that we knew now that we're going to take things in, what are we going to put in there, in the wardrobe? So today in this video, we're going to capture or we take things out. Sorry. You said in, take things in. Oh. <laughs> Basically, we did a wardrobe audit, which then led to a wardrobe edit. And at the beginning of that editing process, meaning we started adding pieces in, I had some say, but we're basically at a stage now where Cola is doing her own wardrobe edit. Ooh, girl. girl, you know it. That's right. So we're going to ask you a few questions about your process. First of all, how are you, babe? Where are we? I am great. We are in Paris. <laughs> As you can tell. We are in Paris. Can't you tell? <laughs> from, from, from our <laughs> hotel room. Insert Eiffel Tower oh. in the middle. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Je peux parler en français un peu. Babe, honestly. That means I can speak French a little. It sounded like a lot to me. <laughs> We're going to dive straight in because just in case you were doing your wardrobe audit, wardrobe edit, there is a bit of a process between starting from nothing and then developing your style and then being really confident with your style and being confident with shopping and not hating shopping and always having something to wear. So question number one, describe your style from when we first did your audit, which was about six months ago. Yeah, about six months ago. Yeah. My style, looking back now, it would be a bit difficult to describe it because I realized it wasn't one particular style. Mm -hmm. I had pieces that fall into like a resort resort style and then I had pieces that would fall into a very girly style. Then I had pieces that fall into a very like sporty or street. It was just a mix of, of everything. And with a lot of the like descriptive words that you're using, those are words that we use inside of the Ultimate Style Accelerator. That's Which correct. helps you like um, yeah. identify, like categorize That's... the styles of each piece, yeah. which would have explained like why sometimes you're like, oh, I do have pants and I do have a top, but why does it feel like it's off? Yeah. It doesn't match. It doesn't match. Okay. So your yeah. style back then was a mix. A mix. Yeah. All right. How would you describe your style now? My style now is Lux Comfort. Like that is clear. Oh, actually I said to Ikang and Baba that when I do an interview with someone, we're going to leave a gap in the middle. Sure, well, if you move over closer to the bed, how's that? How's the weather over there? <laughs> Babe, oh. how are you going? Hi. Nothing to wear to always having something to wear and feeling more stylish feeling more stylish feeling more stylish I've always been trying to work out what jingle I should have that's actually a really good one <laughs> Now, describe the process from the first time we did your audit. Did you have any attachments or hesitations about getting rid of clothes back then? Uh, yes, 100%. I had a lot of attachments. I was attached. Attached. I was attached. <laughs> Could switch real quick. I was attached to a lot of the clothes that I had in my wardrobe when we first did the wardrobe audit. I don't know if you remember, but there were parts where you were like, I don't think we need this anymore. Yeah. And I think it was a piece of dress. It was a, an off pink dress. Yeah. A... <laughs> I remember that because I saw your face yeah, and you were yeah. like, I don't agree. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, um, it was a pastel, was it? Yes, was I it remember pastel that. Pastel pink. The thing was, I loved the way that dress hugged me, my body, and I loved the shape that it created for my body and <laughs> you literally was like okay this one must go and I was like mm, maybe I think like maybe there are situations and events that I can still wear this too because that would be my go-to dinner dress yeah going out dress going out dress yeah. dinner dates or even like a more a fancier like event I would wear that and that got called out I was like oh no what <laughs> yeah, I remember <laughs> I, could, I felt you know like I could feel the vibe 
like, she's like <laughs> not this one. Like my face kind of went yeah. like a bit. And it's just like, why? Actually, why though? Now, now that you know what you know, now that I know what I know, I still wish I kept it. <laughs> I understand now that the color wasn't a fit for my skin tone and it actually made my skin look dull. Like the pastel pink had this grayish tone in it. So, and that gray, as you have told me and have educated me and now I know this well, doesn't really bring the color out on me. Yeah, like your glow. My glow, exactly. I have not seen or worn that dress. I think we did end up keeping it. We did keep it, yeah. yeah. But when I was packing for my digital nomad life, I did not pack it with true them. yeah you know what is funny because I might have packed it you know because you have your those attachments and you're like yeah of course I'm gonna use this I did pack it to when I drove to Sydney but the thing was when I got to Sydney I realized that I didn't need all of the things that I packed mm -hmm. and so I had to make certain choices and decisions at one point mm -hmm. because I was gonna go to Bali yes. I was gonna go to go back to Brisbane for shoots yes I went someplace else like I can't remember now where but yes I only had my carry-on bag so I brought my my big bag, mm. my 35 kilo bag with me. I had a carry-on bag and it was just a lot better to just be with a smaller bag. And I realized I didn't really didn't want to it. pack it. I didn't need yeah. it. And I think we found like your color once we found another, like a replacement for that going out piece, yeah. which we were like your glow was just it, whether you wore makeup or not. Mm, that's right, yeah, exactly. And if you don't know that that was the Shona Joy olive green piece. Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah, that was the first one. That was my first favorite. That's right. Actually, Actually, speaking of, because I'm so bad. It's your signature outfit. They're all my favorite. <laughs> they really are. All of your outfits are like your favorites. They really are. Actually, this leads to the, to the next question really well, because you mentioned that as you travel, there were certain pieces that you realized you didn't need. Mm. So how many culls have you done so far? So we had our first cull together, mm -hmm. then you put things in storage, mm -hmm. and then you started traveling. So how many, how many like times have you kind of, since we did ours? Yeah, so you're right. I did a call for the first audit, the storage audit. I had a first go at the storage audit and yes. then I, I came back and I was like, I still have too many clothes. Yeah. So I did a second storage audit. Did you? I did. When I got to my first destination, I had to do another call because I don't have the space yep. to take all of the clothes that I brought out. Mm. So I had to pick which clothes was going to be hanging, yeah. which I could access easily. So that was another call. And then when I travel to another place, I do another call again. And so I literally ended up with a big suitcase of things that I brought to, to my digital nomad life that I never actually use. Wow. So it sounds like you did like four, four five to five culls. Yeah. And just for context, when we're talking about storage, so what happened since our last cull, you know, we were talking about Cola going into her digital nomad life. What happened was she put all of her belongings or remaining belongings like furniture, office setup, yeah. clothing into storage. Yeah. So what were the things that you ended up taking out the first time, like in the first cull of your own? Just a lot of heavy baggy things. Baggy things? Like, yeah, yeah. Like jackets that I actually never, I wear maybe once because it's a special event. Like coats. Oh, did you get rid of coats? Yeah. Which one? Uh, you know, the gray ones. <laughs> I just got it. I don't even remember what, what color. And some dresses that I thought I could wear, but I didn't Ooh, wear. Summer dresses? Summer, they summer dresses. dresses? Like the summer shorter dresses. Yeah. And yeah. printed dresses. I have a feeling you got rid of your yeah, printed, printed yeah. dresses. A lot of the printed dresses. So I'll, I can tell you what I kept. <laughs> yeah. Oh, because it's actually less. <gasps> yeah. It's the less. Yeah. Well, because it's just, yeah, like it's very much yeah, like okay. shirts yeah. and mostly. Tank tops? Tank tops, yeah. Mostly in black or white or beige. I actually kept one or two pairs of jeans, uh -huh. but then I gave away a pair of the the pair of jeans, the high waist, light yeah. blue one. You really yeah, like they were like an acid wash, yeah, yeah, slim, yeah. like straight leg. You really denim. like them. I really love those yeah. ones on you. But I just, every time I wore it, like the belly area, like it yeah. would bulge out. And yeah, I, I remember like I was, yeah, I was just like, Well, I'm after you've tried so many other pants, you realize that, you know, what you thought was great back then yeah. was okay. But when you try the other ones that are amazing, it's like, you have no reason to be like, oh, yeah, yeah. under this. Exactly. And I think my desire for my look is Lux Comfort, but I also want to look lean. And I was like, okay, so yeah, definitely I'm going to work out and get yeah. a bit more 
active to shred a bit more weight but it's not gonna happen overnight so yeah. how do I make that how do I look yeah babe actually like ASAP <laughs> now that we're talking about this and I don't I don't know what you actually cut because I didn't see it right but this is my guess I think you removed a lot of printed dresses mm -hmm. you printed things which had texture in it like anything made of lace anything which had pleating yep. anything which had texture in the buttons or the fabric oh question did you keep your gray suit your pants suit the one that you wore to the awards yeah but i so i left it in storage yeah okay oh yeah because that's okay. a that's one that you still have like yeah. that you still yeah. have loved so yeah okay great love it i do have this question that i wrote down here describe your experience when you packed for bali colors got a bali vlog on her youtube channel so that's linked in the description box of this video and you're going to be able to see like their agenda everything <laughs> there i was there as well but it's actually <laughs> that was their team trip and i was like can i be part of the team as a client it's like yes of course <laughs> you're always welcome to come <laughs> yeah so describe your experience when you parked for bali because this is the first overseas trip that you did since yeah. your first two calls yeah three calls. exactly so that was one of the the calls that i did was Ooh. packing for bali and that's when i realized that a lot of the things that i brought like i didn't really need because i was actually going to think about it this way when i was headed to my to sydney that was yes. my, my first digital nomad dis destination that brisbane, was sydney. yeah brisbane sydney that was cold-ish weather and so I autumn yeah it was autumn exactly yeah. so it's a bit chillier in, in Sydney, Sydney during yeah. that time and then I was gonna have to pack for Bali which was hot, hot weather yeah. exactly so when I was in Sydney I realized and I was there for a few days before Bali and I was constantly wearing the same type of clothing then I had to decide okay so that's what I'm wearing for this kind of weather I'm gonna transition to hot what am I gonna bring so obviously like I had like my bikinis I had set out but I didn't even have a lot because you've also given me a few. Yeah, true. Yeah. You gave me some yes. and then you gave me more when we were actually in Bali. Like oh, the, yeah, the, the, that's the right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. And actually, that's what I ended up wearing. <laughs> true, because they, they had like a nice deep plunging yes. V neckline, yeah. which were like, oh, this is just going to be flattering. And I love that. Like, yeah, I feel like a lot of the your plunging. coloring too. And they were in my color. Like white and brown. White or and cream brown, and brown. Cream beige. So I realized that too. And then for some reason, actually, before the we did the audit, I thought yeah. my color was very like black or oh, white and really I didn't have that much beige babe <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know, you put your colors remember. black and white. I don't remember because <laughs> I don't beige remember now. because I think I never saw you wear black. Did I? But I never wore beige. That's true. You ne that's one. Yeah, you didn't wear beige. You wore lots of different things, but not beige. But now you're yeah. mainly beige. Hence and today in black. The mixed style <laughs> that I had. Nobody can really tell what it is. I can't oh even. my gosh, that's amazing, babe. And I do remember some of the things because you showed me your suitcase, <laughs> and you're like, look at all these things that I packed, and you were wearing the same thing like every day though. Yeah. It was like the same, like the more colored tank top like the yeah. brown tank top with exactly. some shorts which ended up being your company's brand colors by the way exactly yeah. and then that's how, how we started to see like you really like beige and actually those brown tones that you have would work yeah. really well if you had beige because the brown on white yeah, was kind right. of a bit too stark and then yeah. the brown on black was like a bit well I'm just kidding oh and remember before the Bali trip I yeah. bought the other jumpsuit from Shona Joy oh yeah that's the one that you wore in your company <gasps> yeah shoot in your company shoot okay. yeah the brand shoot that we did that was what I wore and I love that yeah babe I remember I the beige quite a bit <laughs> so, <laughs> side note we found how to do a fit check just based on your your yeah. how your body feels and your intuition if you start dancing or you're just like looking at yourself in the mirror because you're just yeah, feeling loving yourself. it yeah then that's just cute that's the that's like that's what you're aiming for and if it ain't that it, it ain't, ain't that. it <laughs> if it ain't that it ain't it <laughs> <laughs> babe and I also remember that you packed a lace midi dress do you remember that one oh, yeah, the, the one with one. A, yeah the white one yeah. and I was like oh didn't wear it you'll be able to wear <laughs> yeah it was like really it was like a really Really nice dress but it was like because when you go to Bali and you want to go somewhere dressy how do you describe when you want to go somewhere dressy it's almost like you want to be trendy but not dressed up up not you don't want to be like formal yeah you just want to be like sharp yeah so that was more formal Clean. and effortless and effortless and lax and comfortable <laughs> 
puts all the all, all, oh, all of the above. <laughs> oh, babe, actually, three things you've learned from elevating your style. Things don't have to be tight for you to look sexy. In fact, when it fits well, you actually look sexier because it hugs you. Yeah, like you're able to show. I don't know. Like for example, like what I'm wearing right now. Like it doesn't. It's not tight at all. Even my pants, like right now. Yeah, babe, tight. you actually upsized. Yeah, and oh, I, yeah, exactly. Stand up and give us a. Oh, look, give us a show. So oh, these yeah. are the pants I replaced the other pants with that I gave away. Yeah, show us your pants, girl. <laughs> show us your pants. This is a pants. Babe. Yeah, they're just like a relaxed fit. And Cola yeah. also got a pair of cream wide leg denim from Decuba, and it's a similar fit. They're just like they're like a wide leg denim and slightly loose, so no harm in sizing up. <laughs> That's the fit check. That's right. <laughs> Babe, and also this top you bought, like yeah. Cola did a haul before we came to Europe and it was, she did the haul on her own. Like we gradually, yes, yeah, we did things yeah. together and then yeah. you were always inside of the Ultimate Style Accelerator program. Right. She'd be like this, oh, what about this? And I'd be like, go to lesson two, yeah. uh, go to module two, lesson three. Go to module two. <laughs> Cause the re it was already there. So it's like, at least yeah. that would give you visuals. My other two lessons is, I think it has to do a lot with choosing investment pieces. If you choose the right pieces to add to your wardrobe, you can reuse so many times with different other pieces and create different outfits. Do you have an example for that? Yes, an example would be the Lazé sets mm. that I buy. Because you've got two sets. I have two sets. You've got oh, the like Milk Tea, Kendall and Athena is, pants. This is what you want. Well, this is the... I think Kendall, uh, is this, a th I get mixed up which one is the pant, which one is the jumper, but we have the same jumper. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whereas you have another set, which is a sand color. Yes. And that has the collared shirt, yeah, I love which that. as you can see here. Oh, but you also have, I'm wearing the same pants as you right now. It's yeah. like the tailor pant, which is a wide leg. Yes, I love, I love that. I interchange between the two sets as my airport outfits. Actually, I use the milk tea one mm. <laughs> for my domestic flights. Really? <laughs> Kind of price up like that. I'm going international. I'm putting on the other set. The sand set as for an international because every time I go to Brisbane I would wear the multi. Really? Set. Why did you do that? Like what's what's the reason? Oh honestly, it's because I had to it was too long for me in the beginning and I had to figure out how to make it work. Because yes. I'm not that tall, but I figure it out. So <laughs> and it was timing for the international trip. So I was like, I'll use it. Because what's your height? Uh, I am 5'3". So Cola got the tailor pant taken up by about an inch, two yeah, inches. Yeah, not too much because yeah. I didn't want it to be short either. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people like take for granted like loungewear outfits like this because it's mm -hmm. like, why would you want to invest in this? But it's like the best. It's really good Yeah, and it's so comfortable. Last, elevating your style. Lesson learned from elevating my style is I don't need to pack a lot. <laughs> True. Except for on this trip where... Oh, it's Just there. kidding. Well, no. this, this trip is different. Why is this trip different? This trip is different because I'm going to multiple cities with multiple weather. The only thing that doesn't exist in this cycle of weather is like cold winter. But exactly. we actually have like right now, it's 16 degrees Celsius outside here in Paris and it's raining. raining. And then you're going to Barcelona tomorrow. And then I'm going to Barcelona. Which is going to be how many degrees? Really hot. And I just came from um, London, remember? And it was so cold as, there yeah. as well. So it was so cold. That's right. So I'm just going through different weather. Find that despite going through different weather. Actually, it didn't pack as bad. Max 35 kilos on the dot. Yeah. Which isn't bad if you think about, because I brought like walking shoes yes. and you know, my slides, my slides yeah. and then I brought boots yes. and I brought one pair of heels. And that's the other thing about this trip for Cola. It's not like just going to the beach or just doing meetings. You've done shows in London that's, where you yep. dress up. So you're like more- Yeah, plays, yeah. theater shows. Yep. You know, dressy dinners. dinners. But yep. then you've also done casual lunches. Then you've done like sightseeing where you're on your yep. feet all day. I was in the countryside. You were in the countryside. Days. It's literally like all of the things that you could do in life. <laughs> like Cole has done in three weeks on this Euro trip. So yeah. <laughs> oh, and then we did a client lunch. Oh, actually, no, we were the client. Yesterday we saw a brand. So yeah, you pack less. I pack less, yeah. Well, actually, it's, it sounds to me like your 35 kilos actually consists of the wardrobe that you have. That's yeah. like your whole wardrobe. Absolutely. Moment, yeah. All right.
Alright babe, next question. As someone who now knows her personal style and understands, you know, your body shape and proportion more, describe your shopping experience these days. My shopping experience, I think I know what's missing in my wardrobe or what I would like to have more of that will complement or in alignment with my style, complement the pieces that I already have. Sometimes I shop in person, but recently I've been shopping more online, but because I know and I've bought from certain brands, I know what my size is, I know what the fabric or you know what to expect from the quality of where I'm shopping from. I make all different love you, you're on the train. It's just easy when I see something, I don't even look at the price. Now you're taller than me. Are we the same height? I think your shoulder is higher. That's why I was like, it's a bit off. Wow! Your shoulder's higher. Do you want to do the intro? Welcome back to my channel. Where we? Where was it? This is lining in. Help you go from nothing. Where we help you from having nothing to wear to always having something to wear and always feeling more, more savage. Clive, ninety eight percent. Thank you so much. <laughs> Actually, that was very generous. Because that was that, really. That was an eighty for me. You did really well. Forgot the lines. 